but I also listen on the outer. I'm, I'm trying to live totally in the now, and uh, the noise pollution on this planet is like no other. Most people don't think of noise pollution. Uh, there was a park ranger talking to a news uh, uh, broadcaster one day about noise pollution. He was way out in Mayberry, Upper Canada or somewhere, and it was so quiet. You could hear a pin drop, and I'm going, ah, oh, nirvana. You know. Angel light, my dear. Constipation even with plant food. Some people get constipated on vegetables. A lot of fiber. Uh, probably the adrenals, low autonomic nerve response for peristalsis, we'll check into that. Clean up my bowel wall, you could be interstitially, lymphatically constipated in the wall, which is making that sluggish nerve response and sluggish uh, 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 muscle uh, contraction there with that. Uh, but to definitely get up your adrenals and clean the gut out there. Um, let's see here, struggling with alcohol, burn the alcohol off if you want to. You can go to the capsules, uh, but uh, burn the alcohol off, unfortunately. It's the only way I can get 98% of the plant to you. I can't do it with glycerin or alcohol. So until I find another menstruum that can take the oil soybeans out of the plant, uh, we're stuck with that. But uh, it's been distilled for 30 days, 55-ton press. That alcohol is an extremely nutritive and energetic and focused alcohol, if, if you had to say it was still a type of alcohol. Uh, let's see, you have a stone in the gallbladder, yeah, stay raw and it'll reduce that stone out of there. Then you can do a liver gallbladder. Most of these uh, cholesterol bile stones in the gallbladder are soft in the first place. Some are larger, but uh, I've never had anybody really get one lodged in the bile duct, but definitely go on a month or two raw foods, uh, take the liver gallbladder formula and stuff like that, and then give yourself a liver gallbladder flush and it'll come out of there. The lemon in the morning, good thinking, that's perfect. Uh, dandelion, perfect thinking, honey. Uh, I'm supportive of a liver flush, but like I said, do about uh, you know, do about a month or two raw and take the liver gallbladder for me, get your kidneys and get your lymph moving, and you only have small stones in. Oh yeah, Karen Rankin, hallelujah. Uh, yeah, I'm going to give you a big hallelujah too, I tell you. You guys, I'm so proud of you guys. You're doing so well. Uh, it, it's fun, isn't it? I mean, you know, it's fun to be detectives. I'm teaching you all how to be practitioners, if you haven't noticed. I, I really would like to see uh, those of you that really have that inner love and light and really want to go help others, uh, help yourselves, and then go out, lose the fear, get knowledge up, get strong, and go, and go forth. <laughs> and you'll do well. And thanks for the comment on Chris. You know, everybody, Drew really likes a good feedback. You know, he's a good kid. He's trying, you know. He does his health issues, and but he's doing well. And these guys love to hear good feedback. I'm going to give this to Chris because he's a, he, they all do well here, and they all try hard, you know. I think we have a pretty good crew here. Uh, it seems like God spins those off that have egos here and things. They come in, and then they're, they're shot right off, you know. But... Um, uh, over 50% divorce rate in Dallas, huh? Yeah, I lived in Corpus Christi for a while. Uh, yeah, I know. You know, I think one day marriage will be uh, antiquated. You know, people are not getting married as much, and it's like, why? It's a legal contract. That's the problem with marriage. It, it, it's almost it's it's a legally binding contract. That's why you have to go to a judge to get uh, get a divorce. It's not like a bond between two people. When you get a, a marriage certificate, it's a legally binding contract. I mean, my God, you know, it's interesting how in law we've done all this to us ourselves. But uh, uh, stay free, and you'll each everybody will enjoy each other better. Uh, I I don't like the institution of marriage too much. Uh, uh, we like those emotional bonded commitments. Well, those are oftentimes your ball and chain. You know, if someone loves you, they love you for who you are and they enjoy the freedom that you give them to be them and you enjoy the freedom they give you to be you and it makes you bond at a much higher level. So uh, it's hard to, it's easier to find spiritual women than it is for women to find spiritual men. I've been in spiritual groups, like I said, I was in that car for a lot of years, and there was a lot of, you know, 
good spiritual women. There's a lot of great spiritual women here, and there's some good spiritual guys. Uh, but oftentimes it's harder for women to find a good spiritual dude than it is for a man to find a spiritual lady. But, uh, you know, we're, it's getting better out there that way. Uh, you have to find someone that's like-minded, I'll tell you. It's not, it makes the road real hard if you don't. That's all I can say. Uh, yeah, I like someone with values too. Hard to find that nowadays. Okay. Yeah, I went over the knots on the hill. Okay, you know what? I, I got it. Oh, I can't believe that. Uh, let me see if I got over this. I think I did this already. The upper right abdomen. Yep, I did that. Can you believe that we got through all your questions? Now, if I have some that I haven't got to and you feel I left you out, I, I deeply apologize and write them again because I have so many here that it's possible I overlooked them and I would, didn't mean to. But uh, you guys go out and have fun today. Empower yourself. Stay empowered. Enjoy the uh, joy and ecstasy and bliss of yourself and your interaction with all life, which is the supreme being in action. And uh, I will talk to you again soon. So thank you for listening to these videos again. I hope they're helpful to you. And, uh, and don't, don't get scared. Don't suffer. Relax. It's just going to be a little journey to get your body back. But you'll get your body back, okay? Uh, just to relax. And for the man with the Lou Gehrig's, uh, man, you really hang in there. It's going to be a journey back. But hang in there. And uh, uh, if, if you can get that body back, you will. But you've got to get focused on regeneration. All right. To you all, have a fun day. And thank you again for watching the videos. Thank you. Bye-bye.